Then uh, you're going now? Yes, sir. Uh, show Miss Connors to a table. Will you, Bernardo? I've got a phone call to make. I'll be right in. Sure. Sure. Come along, Miss Connors. Here you are. Swell table. Thanks. Well? What do you think? Kid's not so bad, is she? No. No. No, she's not. Well, the waiter will take your order when you're ready, Miss Connors. I'll see you later. I can't erase your beautiful face before me. Well, Julia, what do you think now? Paul, Paul, let's get out of here. Get out of here? Why not? I've seen the kid and she's all right, and that's all I said. You said you'd talk to her. Oh, I won't. Why don't you keep out of this? You're not leaving already. Yes, well, I've you... just been persuading Miss Connors to stay, Renardo, and I, I think another number from that daughter of yours might do the trick. Oh, Paul. But I think Miss Connors agrees with me that with a voice like hers, the girl ought to sing a different kind of song. Can she do None But the Lonely Heart? Paul, no. None but the... Well, I don't know, but I'll ask her. Is this more of what you call humor? Listen, Julia. You're to stay here with the girl, do you understand? Whatever happens. No, I don't understand, and I want you to keep out of this. You can't run my life, Paul Thomas. You tried that once, and I... That voice singing for Joe Renato's customer. It's a rain! Out the back door, everybody, quick! Nobody leaves this room! Oh, that was why you phoned. I had them waiting. It's the one sure way to get rid of Renato. Remember, you're to stay here. Whatever happens, you're to stay here with the girl. Okay, Mr. Thomas, they're all loaded. You say you're coming down to see about booking them? Yes. Uh, the lady here ain't to go, huh? No. And uh, that young kid's in the next room. What about her? Oh, I'll bring her out here. Uh, okay. Now, listen, Paul, I tell you, I'm not... Come in here, kid. Are, are you going to take me, too? No, Nina, we're not. It's just that Miss Connors here wants to talk to you. She's a friend of your mother's. Of my mother's? I've got to go. Come, officer. Paul! Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? And what is all this? Oh, you heard him Why say... Why didn't they take us, too? You heard him say, Why, Nina? Because I'm a friend of your mother's. Oh. You mean from a long time ago? You sang in the same company with her or something? No, I didn't sing with her. Well, mother's away now, you know. On business. She'll be gone quite a while, so if you... I just saw your mother this morning, Nina. This morning. Oh, then you're from... Yes. Yes, I got out this afternoon. Oh. How... How is my mother? She sent you a message. A message? Yeah, she... Uh, she wants you to keep on singing. Oh, I've been doing that. Joe wouldn't let me stop if I wanted to. He says it's good for his business to have me sing. But, of course, that's not the kind of singing she wants me to do. Did you ever hear my mother sing? Yes. I heard her. She's one of the greatest contraltos of our day. An opera critic said that in a review. I read it in her scrapbook. She wants me to sing an opera, too. Well, later on, I mean. Yeah, I'm sure she does. But you haven't told me anything about her. How she looks and everything. You see, after I... I found out I wanted to go up and see her right away. You know, to tell her I didn't care. I mean that I understand. You know. Yeah. I know. But Joe wouldn't let me. Of course, I wrote to her, but that's not the same thing. I told her I hated staying with Joe. But it'd be okay till... till she got out. But she hasn't answered yet. Do you know how soon her sentence is over? Why are you so funny? Why don't you answer me? Nina. Nina, listen to me. Your mother... Yeah? Um, Nina, you've got to give up the idea of going up to see your mother or of uh, her getting out. What do you mean? 
Well, you... You have to know sometime, I suppose. Your, uh... Your mother died, Nina, this afternoon. She... It's, it's better for her, Nina, and, and she wanted it this way, believe me. Oh, I'm the last person she talked to, and she told me she didn't care. She didn't care, except for you. As long as you're all right, that's all that mattered to her. Oh, and she's happier now. She's better off. Don't you see that, Nina? Sure. Sure. I guess I do. And, and like I said, she wants you to keep on singing. But I can't. Not for her. I mean, like she wanted me to. When Joe comes back, you know. Oh, why did she have to die? Nina. Nina, now, Nina, stop it. You've got to. And don't you worry about Joe. You're going away from here. Now, listen to me. You must have some other relatives, aunts or uncles, somebody you could go to. I haven't, though. I'll have to stay with Joe. Well, you won't. No, that's one thing you won't do. You're leaving here tonight. Leaving here? Sure. With me. You mean to stay? Oh, it's crazy. It'll mess everything, but... But you are leaving. You're right. Your mother did want you to sing different songs, and you're going to sing them. And I'm going to see that you do. In a few seconds, we'll tell you something about next week's episode of Broken Prelude. Next Sunday on Silver Theater, we'll conclude the story of Broken Prelude, starring Betty Davis as Julia Connors and featuring Carlton Cadell as Paul Thomas and Miss Davis's own protege, 15-year-old Pamela Cavanis, as Nina Marloff. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.